Hello. What a beautiful day it is out there today. Sunny. The sun is shining as you can see on my backdrop. I've got a little bit of sun coming through and it makes me happy because I know that spring is just around the corner. And for most businesses, spring is the busiest time of the year. When you look at real estate sales, that's usually what they call the spring market. When you think about retail sales, I mean, all the winter clothes have sort of gone out now. Maybe there's a clearance sale, but all the spring colors are coming in. They're vibrant, they're bright, and it makes you want to buy. So now is the perfect time to start thinking about your social media strategy and that's what I wanted to talk to you about today so many times I go to social media and I notice businesses that don't have or have not adopted or adopted a social media strategy and what that means is they're not looking at what content they're putting out there for the month so let's take March for example because this is a perfect time to think about it we're almost to the end of uh, February and then we'll be heading into March as we know March is predominantly the start of spring so it's a perfect time to think about what that strategy should be so there's a couple of things I just want to talk to you today about and that is content strategy and using the SWOT analysis so I'm not sure if you've ever heard of SWOT S W O T And what that stands for is your strengths, your weaknesses, the opportunities, and the threats. So probably the best way to start with the content is to look at your SWOT. So what I suggest you do is to write it out. So write out S-W-O-T. Then go through and write down the strengths of your business. Then look at the weaknesses of your business. And you know what? Be honest, nobody's gonna see it, but this is really important because we all have weaknesses in our business. And I can tell you my weakness right now. So I'm really good at preaching to people about social media and video, but because it's my own, I tend to slack off on that because after I've done everybody else's, I find I'm exhausted (laughs) and then I don't do my own, but it's actually not good. I should be practicing what I preach. So my weakness is that I don't follow through when it comes to video and I hope to be better at that as you can see there's a beautiful wall behind me I just put that up last week and my plan for putting it up was so that I could get on and do more videos so the next one is opportunity so what opportunities present itself in the market so look at that and then look at your threats so your threats can be your competitors but as we always say you have competition but do you really have competition because if you position yourself differently than everybody else you really don't have competition But we do need to look at that. We need to look at market, market statistics. We need to look at economic drivers. So then you write down all those things and now you've got a strategy because what you can do is pull from that. So you can see what your strengths are. So your strengths are your story. Your strengths are your why. So you pull that out and you go, okay, this is what I'm gonna focus on is my strengths. Now my weaknesses are what I'm going to address. So maybe your weakness is that your social media strategy isn't strong, so now you're going to address that. The opportunities could be what is happening in the community, what is happening in the industry, what is happening in the market. What are those opportunities that you could go out and grab right now and be the forefront in your in your industry? And also opportunities are great for creating yourself as an expert in what it is you do. And then the threats, look at what your threats are so that you can be proactive and that you can deal with those threats before they become actual threats. So that's why I would ask you to start when it comes to your content and then start to develop develop something around that for March. So now that you know what your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats are, and these could change. Like, I mean, you could do this today and in three months it could change again. So I think it's a really good thing. You, I think doing it every month is a good thing. And then looking at that. And from there, you'll start to see the trends of what you should be talking about when it comes to social media. And then the next thing I want you to do is to look at your analytics. And we all have them on the back ends of our Facebooks and our Instagrams. And look at what it is that people seem to enjoy the most about your content. And that's where you kind of want to push that content. So if it is video, then you know what? You need to be doing more video. I hate to tell you that. If it's graphics, if it's pretty pictures of yourself or pretty pictures of the items you sell, then that's what you need to be doing. So all these things help you to create a social media strategy. And that's exactly what it is. Something strategic about what it is you want to do or sell products or services. So I'll give you those two tidbits for today. I'll do more of these videos every week and then we'll talk more about different things. If there's something you have a question about when it comes to strategy, please feel free to inbox me. I'll do my best to answer you. Um, 
this is again a great way to find out uh, what your clients or customers need is by doing videos and asking them for their input and then taking that input and creating social media around it anyway uh, I hope everybody has a great day and gets out and enjoys that sun which we don't get all the time and I look forward to seeing how you've implemented this swap process and the analytics into your future social media have a great day everybody and thanks for watching